Welcome back to Southern Adirondack Outdoors. Today I'm working on a solar electric fence. I'm trying to get uh, everything hooked up. This is a second generation version. I actually updated uh, the electric fence down at the orchard and I'm using the leftover parts to create one for the lower vegetable garden. So hopefully this will be helpful to a lot of you guys. I want to show you uh, the components I put together and why I did it. So I just recently completed uh, creating the cabinet for the box. This keeps all my components dry. The solar um, charge controller needs to stay dry. Um, the Silver Streak um, this is the battery charge controller that needs to stay dry and then I've got a battery um, it, it doesn't necessarily need to stay dry but it does need to uh, uh, have the connection sheltered what I've done is used an inexpensive this is a 30 watt um, solar electric panel this is uh, either I forget if it's mono or polycrystalline. This is a cheaper one. Um, I'll, uh, I'll update that uh, when I do edit the video. But this is a cheaper panel. This is a 30 watt. I found at the orchard it was too small to keep everything going, but that's a much larger fence. So what I did here is here at the garden, I decided to reuse these components and uh, get something better than I was using. I was using a, uh, a Zariba or something like that from Tractor Supply. It was a little solar fence charger with a small battery. It couldn't keep up. And ultimately, I started letting the deer in. Um, so here, these wires come from the solar electric panel down through the roof. I caulk that. And then I've got these two wires. These two wires go from there to the charge controller. The charge controller then has two wires that will come down to the battery. You can't see that right now. That, that'll go here. And once the battery is in, um, the, charge, uh, the electric fence charger will then connect. Um, that hooks up to the battery directly. Usually with your solar charge controller you would have a load coming out and going to the component that you're wishing to run your power off of. Um, I don't use it because this is set up to hook connectly directly to the battery um, and it also keeps the uh, electric fence charger running even when the battery goes gets low. The solar charge controller is designed to shut off uh, power going to your component or your utility um, when power gets really low um, and that saves your battery from going too low. I use a marine deep cycle so it shouldn't harm it. Um, so I'm just going to use the hookup for the solar panel and also uh, the one that goes down to the battery and keeps the battery charged. So that's basically what I'm doing is I'm using this to keep the battery charged and going. Um, one thing when you're hooking these up, always have your battery connected to the solar charge controller before you hook your um, solar panel to the charge controller. Always battery first, then the charge controller. So, and the other nice thing about um, the, these clips is I can, uh, if I want to go into the garden, I simply unhook these and the fence is off. So at Tractor Supply, I was able to find these battery terminal clamps. They have a little wing nut on them. That'll make uh, connecting and disconnecting the battery source a lot easier. Uh, it's always nice to be able to disconnect uh, the source um, 
the power if you need to. I'm going to set the battery in. Okay, so the battery is connected to the charge controller. Now I can go ahead and connect the solar panel to the charge controller. All right, we're actually getting a reading. It says the panel's putting out 12.5 volts to the battery, which is good. And the last thing I want to do, I don't have the fence connected yet, but I can tell if the charger is going to work. All right, let's see. Um, I guess we're just going to do this. Just that. And this. And the fence charger is clicking, so it's working. I think the light doesn't work on this, uh, this guy anymore. One of the reasons I replaced it. And plus, I needed more jewels. See the chargers putting out a charge to the the panels putting out a charge to the battery. All right, I will show you where I've gotten to. Uh, we got these things hooked up, but uh, what I didn't film is I had grounding rods set from the prior system. So I've got that grounding rod. Follow the line across. I have this grounding rod. And then that wire goes up the post. I drill the hole in the bottom and it comes up through and I will connect that. I have not connected the fence yet. Uh, and then I'll go inside the garden area. All right. And I did some connections on the fence. Hopefully I'm not going to move them too fast. And uh, I've got a drill hole. And I'm going to put that red wire up into the box as well. Got a reading on the thing. And now to test the fence. I hate testing the fence. Let's see if the grass works. It's been a while since I tried this. What this is protecting is the garden. So I got this planted. This is the lower garden. Uh, gotta get that ceiling bed cleaned up and the garden will look better. 
There's a lot of weeds in here already. I gotta come down with a stirrup hole and clean everything out. Uh, but it's starting to look better. And hopefully, this will keep the deer out. So there's the whole system. We got the solar panel on top, runs down to the solar charge controller. Solar charge controller feeds energy to the battery so the battery stays charged. And then the battery feeds, there we go, the battery will feed the electric fence charger. And if the connection is completed, it'll issue a shock. So. I don't know if you can see, but there should be a charge in our, looks like 12.8 volts going from the panel to the battery. So that's it. So I went to this system a few years ago because the other systems kept failing and they didn't put out any jewels. I noticed the output of the cheap one I had gotten from Tractor Supply was something like half a joule. This one is two joules and the one I use at the um, orchard is I think eight joules. It's six or eight joules. Uh, the one at the orchard is a Cyclops. That's the best one I have. It's definitely an improvement over the ones I've had in the past. So hopefully this made sense for you. If you have any questions don't hesitate to uh, place a comment down below. If these systems I found last much longer and overall cost a lot less than an equivalent system you can get from one of the major manufacturers. So it's a pretty good system. The outfit's pretty good. The weak point on this one is probably the silver streak. It's only two jewels. I, I may have to bump this one up but two joules is a lot better than half a joule. So any questions, guys, please ask. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your like, subscribing, and sharing.